you can see <coughs> our we can call it a vaccine, we can call it a concoction. Our vaccine is now ready. This is now what I do every month. By the way, nobody will ever tell you how to prevent disease on your farm. People have told us everything, but they have kept the secret on how to make vaccines for our bodies, organic vaccines. We do vaccination normally with synthetic vaccines, but this is organic. It is really smelling. This is right after eight days. And this vaccine is a composition of two plants. It composes of two plants only. That is Tajiri, which is maybe Christmas melon, or Katanga in Uganda. But we also add in what we call oregano. So this Katanga, the Tajiri, is meant to prevent viral diseases. We, we prevent all vaccinate against the Marx disease, Gumboro, Newcastle, among other diseases which are viral. Then we put in the, uh, the oregano, which is meant for treating bacterial diseases, the E. coli and other diseases, those which are respiratory, or whatever disease is bacterial, is prevented by oregano. This is a vaccine. Vaccination is done sometimes, maybe in your case, done twice or every two months. But for us, we do it every month here because this is organic. Organic things, they do slowly. They are slow at acting. So it is better you prevent than treatment. This has been here, but nobody has told us the truth until you, you, you discover it yourself. Uh, I, do, I do farming. I do only exotic layers. Then I do sometimes local at a small scale. Then I also do sometimes at a small scale again, broilers. But my major farm is on exotic layer birds. So these birds... Uh, after two months, I start giving them organic medicines, organic herbs, organic treatment. I believe when the body is two months, can be able to eat, can be able to, can be able to drink. So this one, I told you last week in another video that I do this prevent. I do it every month. Now here, I never want to do anything on the farm without showing you what I do. So here we are doing exactly what I taught you. You see that the things have really fermented. They are fermented. So I give the younger chicks, the old chicks, those are always local. They also give the, these my layers every month. Uh, basically, for me, I don't preserve because I would be using, for preservation, I would rather use refrigeration or I use molasses. But all those are scarce here. But this one is much available. The oligano, the tajiri are all available here. So I do medicine for just one day. But these buds I have, there are 500 buds. They drink this in a single day. Just a single day. So I, pre I, I, I go to sieve, sieve some of it. After sieving, I give my buds. By the way, this can also be given to the pigs if you want. Because we are doing things to prevent sickness. We, we do this to prevent every sickness. You can see what is coming out. You see what is here. Um, this is what we discover that is a treatment for our bodies. Now, I'm sure this one will give me 10 jelly cans of water today. So I put it in the, the jelly cans. And I know my 10 jelly cans are covered with this medicine, and they drink it the whole day. So if we want to preserve, this is enough for preserving. The most unutilized plants on earth so far, one of them is Christmas melon, the tajiri. This plant, when we were growing up, we never knew it, was, it had any purpose. But for me, every month, when I discovered its purpose, I have to give it to my buds. There are major plants in poultry farming, which include aloe vera, bitter leaf, now this we have oregano, Christmas melon, garlic, moringa, all those plants are very important. But we've discovered that nobody has told us the truth, the truth about vaccines. The viral vaccines especially. 
Those vaccines we buy in the market, they are made by human beings like us. They are made for us. But for me, I'm saying, how do they make it? Research is master in your farming. Now, the research I've made and the experience I've had have shown me that this Christmas melon is the key to farming, is the key to success. We have done it. We've discovered that for the eight years we've done, this has been our remedy in treating the viral diseases. I've told people that I don't vaccinated by birds, but whenever I say that, people, some of them say whenever I hear, they hear that statement, that I don't vaccinate my birds, they switch off the video. No, this cataps once again. Whenever you see this video and you switch it off, that is you. I am still saying I don't vaccinate by birds. I don't vaccinate my birds. After two months, you'll never see me vaccinating my birds. The people of shops, I live in a ginger. Let, let anybody tell me that Sen has ever seen me buying a vaccine. Be it Newcastle, be it Newcastle Plus IB. We, we buy those medicines simply because we have not done what we should do. I'm very sure organic farming is the most expensive because we are all lazy. We can't go and look for these herbs. At least I've planted some of them. I, I live in a neighborhood where there are, there are many herbs. So if you know that you can't afford to make these vaccines, don't say others don't afford. For me, I have the time. I look for them, and it's my passion. I have done this research. Actually, I just did it recently. I did a course about animal nutrition and treatment. I thought and found that we have been we have been kept behind. It has been kept a secret. People can't tell us what they do. The vaccine is made out of these plants. All of viral diseases, Bumboro, Newcastle, all of these are made. I, 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 I treated by this. All, all, all the bacterial diseases, the E. coli, are all treated by this. But nobody can tell us the truth. So what I do on my farm, I get these plants, ferment them. If I have the time, I keep them. Maybe I get morasses to, to ferment them. I mean, I get morasses to preserve them, or I get refrigeration. But usually, it takes me a short time to, preserve, to, to, to prepare this and give it to my buds. I don't need to preserve anything because my buds are many. You know, I do layers, I do croiras, I do sasso, I do broilers, I do loco. But majorly, I'm into exotic layers. And it is very unheard of someone doing commercial farming, exotic layers, and not vaccinating. It's very unheard of. We can't say these organic buds because our buds, they eat, they eat uh, concentrates which are not organic. But we, at least we try not to give them medicines, not to give them these synthetic medicines. Giving this and eat this bad. My buds, those who have eaten my buds, usually they say they are like local. They taste like local, indigenous buds. The soup is yellow. The yellow yolk eggs I have are unheard of. Nobody has had them in exotic buds. Unless you bring these synthetic additives to get yellow yolk eggs. Personally, I do this every month. So with this, you're treating all the viral diseases. For treatment, we, we do 30 meals in 20 liters of water. But for prevention, we do 10 meals in 20 liters of water. Please, as, as you prepare this, I will show you last week in another video, that as you prepare this, you measure on the weighing scale. If you have one liter or one kilogram of this tajiri, plus the oregano, you, you only get two liters of water you add there. So this is the concoction. This is the, the measurement done. We don't add in any water. When you add in any water, you, you, you're spoiling. You're doing something wrong. So please, if you have not been vaccinating your buds and not doing this, you're doing the wrong thing, you must go one way. You either go synthetic or you go organic. Usually I say if you can never go for, the, for, for God in church or for in the, in the mosque, you either go to the shrine for the devil. You can't be in the middle. If you're in the middle, you lose everything. So you must go on site. Even if in farming, you must either go organic or synthetic. And again, I will also encourage you, either do exotic birds or you do local or indigenous. Uh, I do indigenous just because I love them. But, but uh, exotic birds are so commercial. I like them too. So please, let's continue marching together. Let's continue being together. Whatever I do on the farm, I always show it to you. I don't want to hide the knowledge like those guys who did 
hide knowledge from us. We didn't know how vaccines were made. We didn't know. A vaccine is just that disease that they weaken. They get a sample, they weaken it. Then they, they, they give it to you. After processing it, you buy it very expensively. You can imagine a vaccine like Malik's vaccine, which is very expensive on the market, and it is here. This is a local vaccine, Malik's disease, completely vaccinatable. We do it here. I give my buds every month. Uh, this this vaccine I'm giving my buds, which is organic vaccine, uh, it is given in this just once in a day. You can give it if you want, maybe for three days. When if you dilute it a lot, give it maybe if you put it a lot of water, but you didn't get a may you didn't get enough of the of the tajiri. You can give it maybe for three days, five days if they are sick. But if they are not sick with just once in a month, just a single day, like other vaccines, it works. If you are doing a vaccination with these herbal things, you must always ensure that there is something attra that attracting your bodies to drink the water. You see what I've done here? I've left in a bowl, one of the bowls for, for Tajiri. So as they peck on it, when the body pecks on it, it goes down. And the water, it at least gets some water out of it. So there is no way they can refuse drinking this water. Because you can see, look at this one. I've left it in intentionally. It is an attraction. And it's better if it's maybe it's like an already color or white color. The buds are like, they are so much attracted to colors. So it goes pecking it as it goes down and drinks the water. You see? You see that the, the whole target is about that. Hmm? 
they love for me I, I love the way I do my things I love the way I do my things you know that it is a vaccination day the day that you can do and you're sure that whatever you've done is really necessary for your farm so if you if you've been here so please it's your first time on this channel subscribe and if you have been here share these videos to others you don't want people to always suffer medically suffer looking for medicines you are a starter farmer you don't have the vaccines you don't have medicines like now the eggs are so cheap but the feeds are so high you can even lack money to buy a vaccine but here these are things which are free you either go and buy them in the in the shop if you're in the town setup you go and buy them in the markets you ask for tajiri you ask them for this but if you're in the village setup these things are grown they grow them themselves they are free so Let's see you next time in other videos. This is Katapps. Bye-bye.